And we're back with some more RimWorld. And the votes are in on what we're going to do with the Void. And that is basically, uh, get rid of them. And uh, the problem is, they're just too... They're, they're going to dominate the entire playthrough. Oh, and if you do end up with the Void on your map and you want to win against them, uh, well, what I was going to do was simply caravan over there and buy stuff from them. They're friendly with you for the first 30 days. Now, their weapons are expensive, but assuming you just hit up a whole bunch, and I mean you're going to have to hit up an awful lot of these little ancient dangers, you can grab yourself a whole bunch of money, buy guns off them, then use those to raid even more ancient dangers to buy more guns and equipment off them. As long as you can get, say, two or three guns off them in the first 30 days, you should really realistically be able to get more if you're playing hard, you could then just have enough pawns that are equipped with void gear and kill void people to take more of their stuff. And if you can capture them alive, you can even get more stuff. It, that was going to be my plan. But since we're not using Void, we are going to disable all of this junk. We don't want any Void. Enable Void Contact. No. Include NSIP. Yep, we're going to get rid of all of this. Now, I was just going to remove the Void mod entirely and start from scratch, but people recommended, hey, why not just play through, get all the SWAT wizard stuff up and running, and then at the end, bring in the Void. That way we get the best of both worlds. Later on, when we're nice and tough, we can face off against a proper hard opponent. I like that idea. So, effectively, we're going to remove Void from the game until, well, until we've got some swap wizards up and running and we want to see just how tough they really are. Then we'll bring the Void back in. I'm going to have to do some tweaking to make sure they don't interfere with the playthrough till then, but uh, let's, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, we're going to get ready for the first wave from Winston. Yeah, we wouldn't really be able to do this whole Winston thing if we were uh, running around the place trying to collect as much money as possible to buy Void weaponry. Also, I can't imagine these Winston waves would be very difficult if we had Void weaponry. Our first incident of the day is visitors, which, yeah, they're carrying some junk. Namely, stuff we don't care about. An Eltec skullcap is not the worst, but, uh, no, we're, we're good. Uh, for now, what we're doing is putting together a little bit of a kitchen so that we can start cooking some simple meals and get ourselves off these nutrient paste ones. I think we'll just keep eating these nutrient paste, though, for now, because, well... Why not? They're they're giving us a slight bit of a negative in the mood because it's an awful meal, or is it eight nutrient paste meals and minus four? But we're going to get over that in a bit. Well, once we switch to the normal meals, we'll be fine. But our uh, our expectations are going to go up, so we might as well eat these while our expectations are just as low as they could possibly be. We've got our hands on some rain, so we're going to take advantage of it. We have a bunch of boom lopes over here. Uh, let's go pick a fight. And let's get in range. And the thing is. Their explosions shouldn't cause us any problems because, yep, the rain will put out the fires. Best time to kill the suckers. You, come here. Yep, perfect. That's two down. Uh, come here, come here, come here. Yep, we want to kind of drive them closer to our base. Nice. And one more. Come on. Just... Excellent. Uh, that just leaves that one over there who's going to bleed out in five hours. I think we'll kill that one now, but... Uh... Problem is hitting stuff on the ground, two disadvantages to it. One, it doesn't give you any shooting experience whatsoever. So shooting a downed animal does nothing. Or if someone's unconscious, anything like that does nothing. Kind of frustrating in a way, but uh, I kind of understand how that could be abused. Uh, actually, we're going to have you carry that. Cannot haul? Why not? It's burning? Yeah, wuss. Just because it's on fire doesn't mean you can't pick it up. Oh, that one's actually now better. Yep. That will go nicely in there. Then we're going to make ourselves some meals out of them, and we're going to take those leathers and go buy some guns. One of our people doesn't have a gun, and there's going to be some enemies arriving in two days. Which reminds me, I should probably fence in those horses, but that can wait a minute. Uh, excuse me? Who are you guys? And where did you come from? I didn't get any notifications. Uh, just passing through, I suppose. Got anything good on you? Huh. Weird. You know what? It's fine, fine. Do what you're going to do. Yeah, we've got... We're just going to quickly fence these guys in, and then I'm thinking we're going to chop this stuff up and start turning it into meals. Uh, yeah, we've got so many of them. Actually, who's our best cook? Ooh, Chris. Chris has a three in cooking. Oh, wow, that's so much food poisoning we're going to have to deal with. Oh, that's painful. Uh, is there any way around that, maybe? I think we're just going to have to eat the food poisoning. Though I might hold out until the first raid passes through. I'd hate for one of our people to have food poisoning on the first day. Oh. For recreation, we got a wooden horseshoe pin. For this section here, I've decided we're going to do a grow zone. And people keep telling me, why don't I just plant some flowers inside the house? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to chuck down some roses. That should drag this up from awful to probably not horrendous. At the same time, I have also turned this place into a home zone. We basically just want to keep this place clean so that everyone's just that little bit happier. Well, they would be once we get them above awful in terms of barracks. Uh, I'm working on it, okay? Our first incident is a mad rat. 
yeah, how many? Just the one or the two? Nope, just the one. That's fine. We'll keep an eye on this, see where it goes. We'll try and get everyone together for it. You can never... Uh, you can never over-prepare for the first one. Our people suck, like, just so much right now. Uh, everyone's shooting skill and all that is horrendous. Uh, let's get everyone together, though. I would prefer... Uh, yeah, let's get them. keep them all indoors. Every single one of you. Tyler, yeah, you can continue eating. Dog, we're going to put you up front to tank. All right, here they come. We've got the dog going up there. We're going to have everyone stand behind it. And we're going to shoot the rat. Wow, totally overprepared. But this is real world, so I'm still going to count that as fine. Oh, and we should repair that when we get a chance. And it looks like planting all of those roses has taken us over the threshold from awful to just dull. A dull barracks. That's a, a nice little mood increase for everyone. And finally, oh, once this fencing is complete, we can let those horses off the leash. Eh, just so that they can continue getting themselves. Oh, actually, we've got to put in a fence post as well. Ah, pen marker. That's the one. We'll stick in a pen marker right there. Cost 30 wood. Are we almost out of wood again? No, no, no. we got some over here, but yeah, I'm going to have to go on another rampage against the trees. We have 1.2 days until we get our Winston waves. Hmm. Two drifters. I'm thinking what we want to do is immediately tomorrow, once it gets dawn, we're going to take these two horses, we're going to take two pawns, and we're going to trade at the nearest locale, which is right here. Uh, once we trade there, we're going to grab whatever guns they have. Just anything at all that can upgrade our damage, because we've only got two pistols. A charge rifle I love, but, you know, two pistols is not quite going to be breaking the bank when it comes to murdering stuff. When it comes to this caravan, we're sending Bjorn because, well, Bjorn has really good social skills. And we're sending Wojciech because they have a charge rifle. So they'll sit at the back and Bjorn will have to face tank if we do get ambushed by any animals. You're kind of going to expect that to happen at some point. Uh, be prepared. Chem fuel. Yep, we're going to sell it all. We could save it for the cars we're going to build later, but I think the money and guns are more important now. All the plain leather from all the animals we just butchered. Yes. No point taking any of those animals there. Wine? Eh. No, we'll keep that just in case someone needs it. We're going to sell all the gold. We can get more of that stuff. Uh, for now, we're going to take with us a couple of simple meals. It should be a short trip. Actually, let's just take four simple meals with us and all the, buff the boomaloaf meat. That boomaloaf meat is worth the selling price. In fact, meat in general is great. That's why we shoot as many animals as we can. Well, all the big ones. It's just a cost-efficient way of getting stuff done. And let's see. And then we throw on the horses. If we didn't have the horses, this route travel time would be 0 0.3 days. Throwing on the horses, we can drop that to 0 0.1 days, three times faster, which is good. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. We will confirm that. Before we do, though, I have to edit this in here to allow them to start eating the simple meals. Didn't want them to start on the simple meals just yet, but I think it's a good idea. Dear, uh, just don't get food poisoning. We're keeping this place clean, but Chris, it's got a cooking skill of three, and it's going to be a while before they go up. So we're just going to have to live with the occasional food poisoning, but there is a reason we're only doing single meals at a time. If we do quad meals, and the quad meals end up with food poisoning, all four meals will have it. This way, it's spread out enough that hopefully we shouldn't end up with more than one person getting food poisoning at a time. Two hearts. Four would be, well, it could be death. All right, how are you guys doing? Uh, you're grabbing everything you need. Yep, yep, yep. You're loading up all the animals now. Get out of here. Yeah, perfect. They should be back long before the attack wave hits, at which point we should be able to bring back an extra gun for everyone. Or a flak vest. Ooh, ancient mech. Passing through the remains of an ancient exostrider mechanoid in attack transponder. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. Well, I mean, you've got to get one of those at some point. So uh, one of those mechanator guys who can control robots. Uh, yes, please. Why not? This caravan's moving at speed. Like, this is just a normal speed? Uh, actually, one second. Uh, trade with Body Pond, if you don't mind. Body Pond. <laughs> how, how many bodies have you left in ponds to decay over the years? Come on. Let's do this. What do we got? Uh, please give us a decent gun or anything. Ooh, a service rifle. A service rifle. This is from the new... Uh, ah... Whatever, expanded thing. Not as powerful as assault rifle, but delivers four shot bursts. Ten damage. Okay, stopping power is pretty weak, so it's four burst count. Range 31. Huh. Vanilla weapons expanded. That would be interesting. And it's new, so yes, I would really like a lever action rifle. Huh. 26 range, 10 damage. Aiming time range. That would seem like a faster firing weapon. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm kind of... Let's see what else we've got on offer. Don't have any flak vests. That would have been nice. I got some helmets and stuff. Low shield pack. Oh, there's more than we can afford, basically. Before we uh, commit to this trading, I am going to... 
actually save the game and install a couple of mods to make this more uh, convenient. Quick stockpile creation, tainted renaming, and trade helper. Trade helper gives us this little chunk over here that shows these are all the things we are selling. That is how much money we're going to come away with. And then I can just go, oh, give me the service rifle. And it shows you how much we're selling, how much we're buying, etc. Uh, it just goes to show, it, it's just a quick way of getting things done. Uh, oh, and I think we'll sell off the mail that's 21, just so that we can buy that other rifle. I want to try the lever action. Maybe it's not a great gun, maybe it is, but I would like to try some of these newer ones, just because. Alright, that means we're going to have about 76 silver left after this and two guns. Could not see any flak jackets. They've got some helmets, but mm, not worth it. We shall accept you, and we're going to head home. Alright, once we get back... Uh, how much time we got left? Ah, uh, we got 17 hours. I think we might summon this just a little bit early, so we got every... Well, once we fed everyone, get everyone sorted. I'm going to try and stick down a couple of traps to help us out as well. And... Hmm. Faction name will be obviously SWAT Wizards, and our settlement shall be called the Office of Infernal Affairs. Perfect. Uh, the boys will be home soon. Actually, boys and girls, I don't even know, was it? Bjorn is... Actually, I, I, I never actually pay attention to the genders of the pawns. They're all interchangeable to me, unfortunately. All right. Oh, I should really keep an eye on that. If they start hooking up together, we're going to have to worry about kids in this newest patch. Oh, probably should have turned that off to prevent uh, complications. For our next event, we get a Psychic Drone Low. Minus 12. That's gonna suck. Yep, everyone's got to go on simple meals just to counteract that. And even then, it might not be enough. Uh, it is what it is. It was a bit late, everyone was a bit stressed, I think we'll leave the killing until the morning, and we better equip everyone once they wake up. I'm thinking... Tyler? Tyler's got the capacity to be a good shooter, so we'll give them the AK, or sorry, the service rifle. You can have the service rifle there. Um, Chris is probably going to get whatever hand me down we got left over. Actually, someone want to take that rifle off the horse? Fine, we'll leave it till the morning, but you guys have four hours before some angry, two angry drifters show up. Five seconds left until this all kicks off. Uh, let's wake everyone up, maybe grab a snack if you wouldn't mind, boys. Or go do what you're gonna do. Uh, raid pack, oh yeah, what do we got? Uh, down here in the bottom right. Ah, oh, got two furries. Okay, we've got Night Owl, Cannibal, Careful Shooter, Psychically Dull. Psychically sensitive and psychically dull. What? Never mind. All right, so two psychically dull. Oh, that's genetic. I forgot about that. These guys have those gene packs that make them just terrible. Well, they're not going to make great SWAT wizards, but I suppose slavery, medical, social, intellectual, and animals? Ooh, suits you, sir. And an excellent cook? You know... Either or, I would take either of them. We already have a jail cell done up, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can only hold one at a time. Okay, right, you four. Let's get together. Um, they're coming from down here. I would like to maybe gain us a little distance. Uh, ooh. Yeah, something like that there. We don't want to travel too far. And if we could wing them a bit, what's the speed on these guys? 4.7, 4.7, and yeah, they've got close combat weaponry. Oof, that one at the rear looks more dangerous. Hmm, I'm not liking this. We have very weak shooting skill. Like, the, the shooting on all our pawns is pretty terrible. Namely because they're not great pawns yet. I mean, they will get better. Yeah. There goes the AK. At absolutely zero hits so far. Oof. Uh, Bjorn? 4.3, yeah, you're not gonna... Uh, everyone target that guy. Bjorn? Ow. Okay, that's one down. Uh, you, run back. You, run back. How? Uh, yeah, this is... Come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. What the? Oh, yes. Winston Waves. Winston Waves. Got it. Uh, we can get a few poor awards. Right, cargo drop of 250 steel, cargo drop pot of 250 stone blocks. Ooh, that might be nice. Cargo pot of three random weapons. Maximum quality is poor. No, thank you. Cargo drop of 300 random pieces of leather. That we could sell for a pretty penny. I think we'll take the stone. That will allow us to expand a lot faster, and it saves us chopping up some blocks. I am tempted by the weapons, though, but they'll probably just give us junk. And we now have two prisoners. One bleeding out in six hours, one bleeding out in six hours. Do we want you both? Ugh. 
Let me think for a second on this. I think, I think we're going to capture them both. I have been advised that Winston Waves does not care about colony size or wealth. It's just ever-increasing pressure. So more colonists is better, I suppose. Uh, we're going to immediately change the medicine on prisoners, though. We don't want to be wasting the good stuff on them. Um, I'm not sure I want to be wasting herbal on these guys. The weaker they are, then the easier it is, it is for us to con them contained. Doctor care, but no medicine. Yes, I'm thinking that is the best bet. Mm. Problem we face is, I think they're going to bleed out unless I can apply some real medicine to them. I think we're going to have to. Okay, fine. You can have one piece of good medicine. That's it. Uh, one piece of good medicine for you, then probably one piece of good medicine for the other. That will should heal three th pieces all at once. Come on back here, quickly, quickly, quickly. You want to uh, keep these prisoners preferably alive. Uh, this should heal three instantly. Uh, heal two. Okay, well, yeah, we're not great doctors, let's just say that much. Uh, you, heal that one now. What are you? No? No, that's fine. Uh, just use the stuff that's in there, you muppet. We just want to try and keep both of them alive as long as possible. But not too alive, I suppose. Uh, eight hours on you, eight hours on you. Yeah, we can switch them back to normal medicine. We managed to keep them both alive. Uh, how happy they're going to be is going to be a whole other story, but don't really care. Just as so long as we can keep them from rebelling. Now what I want to do is wall off the bottom here. That'll force enemies to come around the top, which gives this turret a little bit of fun fun with them. Did not realize the waves are going to be coming every couple of days. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to build up some walls across here and try and force all of the attackers to come around the top so that they have to face off on that gun. Uh, then we're going to have to see about getting some research in, and we're going to need more colonists. We need lots more colonists. Uh, we might want to, you know, I'm going to have to change up this at some point as well. I want to try and force people across traps. But for now, it's going to be shooty, shooty, bang, bang, so long as there's only two enemies at a time. Well, one of our newest potential recruits has shown up with a double infection, which is not great. Uh, Chris, you're meditating? Why would you met? You know what? Never mind. Prioritize tending to that Muppet. We are not going to use any medicine unless we absolutely positively have to. Let's hope he survives. If he doesn't, well, that's his fault. All right, uh, down here. Still have not finished this, and we've got 11 hours before the next wave hits. This, is, this Winston waves definitely makes things, uh, it adds an extra layer of motivation. One other thing we can do while we're waiting. Uh, horse meat. Yep, we're going to need some for the fridge. Uh, you're bleeding out in five hours. Let's uh, change targets. Uh, let's slow this down a bit. Huh. I'm liking the guns, but let's just see. I want to actually pick out what the uh, the rifle does. This one. How are you? You're too short-ranged. Damn it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll get you a little bit closer. Seriously? Uh, did you... Okay, that was my bad. Uh, let's see how you do. Yeah, that's, that's pretty horrendous. You guys will get better. You'll be fine. All right, perfect. That gets us a bunch of horse meat. And here comes Georgetta's leopard. Uh, ooh. These look like very strong leopards. Uh, right. What gear you got? Machine pistol, steel plate armor. Okay. Bio-coated pump shotgun, steel plate armor. Oh, you did bring some medicine. That is good. What are we looking at? Caring, social, artistic. Yeah, 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 whatever. But a masochist. A masochist who's good at shooting in melee and intellect. Too smart, jealous, night owl. Ooh. You know what? We'll see how many of them survive. Though, we're going to need to... Yeah, let me figure out. I'm thinking back here is good. We'll uh, use the turret to do some damage to them before they get too close. And then I'm thinking we'll put a few rock chunks around here. Slight problem. Looks like they're heading for over here. I'd, I'd already lined up these blocks there. Uh, they look like they're heading through this door. Or they're just going to start pounding on it. Why would they do that? Going to start a fire or... Hmm. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Who wants to go up front and face tank? That door's going down real quick. Oh. Never mind, they've changed their mind and decided to go around the front. Perfect. Uh, everyone can go back to bed. Sorry about that, guys. False alarm. Well, they're just about to run the corner and come into range right about now. Perfect. Uh, I've currently got Bjorn feeding one of the prisoners, so I don't want to stop them. They're carrying nutrient paste. Oof, one down already. 
Guy's got a shotgun, but we've got good cover. And Bjorn? Get out of here quick. Come on. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Okay, we've got lots of poor rewards. A uh, single parent pawn worth up to 50 combat points joins the colony. What? 250 stone blocks, 30 medicine? What the hell? Huh. Kind of... Hmm. I should have done more research on this. You know what? Uh, we shall take the medicine. 30 medicine is going to go a long way towards healing up people. Uh, and I can't believe those two guys survived. Like, there's nothing changed on the default setting, so how... Like, that's the first four people have all landed and not died. We're going to need a bigger prison. You know, not more food. Um... Yeah. We're going to need to expand a lot faster. We need to start processing prisoners at a better rate. Who's got the best social there? You got seven. You got six. Three. Ugh. Actually, let's just check a few things here. What are the resistances on these guys? That type of stuff. We'll imprison them for now, but we may dump some. We need to... We can only recruit people. We can only afford to recruit people who we can recruit quickly because 1.2 days, we got two more people coming in. Hey, Ma, can we keep them? They just look so cute. Uh, we've decided to keep them both. Why not? Uh, the resistance on both of them is... Well, one's 8, one's 9.3. This one also has a bit of a psychite dependency. Uh, last ingested psychite 1.7 days ago, so they've got 30 days. Uh, after 5 days of the takeoff, she will suffer from psychite deficiency. Uh, we're going to have to start growing some of that, or buying it or doing something. Unfortunately, our current uh, planter is too busy cooking, and our low-end planter can't plant... Psychite because they don't have the skill for it. We'll worry about it later. Uh, oh, and Bjorn here has decided they want to wear steel plate mail. So, yeah, go for that, I suppose. Uh, uh, next wave will hit in 17 hours. I'm just wondering how we're going to turn our people into wizards while they're busy doing this. And where's the mission for the royalty? I was waiting for the royal mission to come along so that we could, you know, rescue the royal guy and do all that stuff and get, ourselves, get one of our people started on the wizard's trail. Hasn't happened. May have to make some changes in a bit. Medical emergency. Oh, yeah, this guy. His health is uh, infection extreme. However, immunity is 91.1% there. Other infection is 91.1% there. They'll be fine. In fact, we can reduce their health care back to, like, doctor care, but no medicine. They'll all be... Gra infection minor. When did that happen? Yeah, we're going to need to... We'll give you some good medicine. I mean, I'm just not going to give them all the best med medicine higgly-piggly. We've got to be, like, at least a little bit discerning about what we give them. Right, well, we still haven't managed to recruit anyone yet, because, you know, it's only been like at 1.2 days, and though we've got people down to 7.5, 7 7.7, 7 7.7, and 11.4. That's actually 7.5, 7.5, 7.7, and 11.4. That's actually really good. Huh. Okay. Georgetta's leopards have arrived. They're attacking immediately. Uh, more of Georgetta's people. That is a cool-looking gun. That is a nice hand cannon. 16 damage. 30 range? Oh, accuracy's got to be terrible, right? Wow, okay, the accuracy's not even that bad. That's cool. Eh, what do we got over here? Got ourselves a little bit of lever action, maybe? Lever action rifle. Normal. Steel plate armor again. I think everyone's going to be toting some steel plate armor. And does that guy have horns? Oh, yeah, impids. I'd forgotten about you guys. Okay, you guys are going to end up going around the front here. It's raining, which gives us a little bit of an advantage. Uh, how's everyone doing? Grant, what are you doing? Oh, you're healing the ship chunk on the turret. Good, because I took a little bit of damage in the last fight. Um, we should close these doors and bring everyone back inside. Get animals assigned. Uh, the usual malarkey. Oh, 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 oh. I kind of missed that start of that. Uh, I was busy trying to get this one. You, come out. What are they doing? You, who over here? And they're trying to gain cover, are they? And why has no one repaired those walls in the last since the last engagement? Okay, you are injured. Which one of you is the worst injured? Right leg, left kidney destroyed. Well, great. Focus fire, please. In the rain. Yeah, I know. It's terrible weather for it. We're just all firing blindly. This is going to be pure luck who kills who. And your wall segment's gone, so that should make you easier to shoot. Come on, kill them! Seriously? Hey, that's actually our first straight-up kill. Everyone else has not died that way. 
And you brought us some wake up. That was very kind of you. You're wasting power on this ship gauntlet turret. Which is really horrendous. Someone just got hit. Uh, poor rewards. We got cargo drop pod, 250, a single pawn, cargo drop pod, cargo drop pod. Huh. I think I want the pawn. I just want to see if it's a good pawn, a bad pawn, how they roll. Uh, Colonus needs a bed. Uh, they're in a drop pod, whatever. Okay, we'll find out in a second when they show up. Uh, Chris, how are you doing health-wise? You got hit in the eye. It's unfortunate you are our medic. Uh, how much of your eye is left? Oh, actually, you got some of your eye left. That's good. That is actually really good. Now, uh, you guys, well, we can't strip you because you're dead. We'll just leave you. Oh, yeah, we don't even have a corpse pile yet. Uh, yeah, we'll stick over here in a corpse pond. Oh, and this is why I installed quick stockpile. Create a quick stockpile and done. That should be just for corpses. Uh, where is it? As you can see, corpses, human-like, uh, allow, well, basically, yeah, all human corpses. Just a quick way of doing that so we don't have to do much. Um, ooh, and we're going to want to bring those weapons in. That lever action, I think I'd like. And that hand cannon. I've got to check the stats on that thing. All right, uh, you guys. In fact, I'm going to get you guys to start pulling all this stuff in now. So Chris here is applying medicine to his own eyeball. And if he messes it up, he's going to end up with a scarred eyeball, which means he won't ever see right again, which will mean he'll be a terrible medic for the rest of his life. But he's dependent on his own medicine to survive it, to get his eye better. But at the same time, He's got a terrible eye at the time, which makes it hard for him to do the medicine on his own eyeball. That's just a rough day. Like, a really, really rough day for anyone. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Everyone else seems to be doing some jobs. You are repairing the ship chunk, which... Yeah, I'm not even sure it needs it, but... Hmm. Kurtai's holding that... I think I'm going to get rid of the crypto sleep casket. I was thinking of keeping it for emergency stuff, but it's getting in the way of defense. I say we give them some fence posts. Fence posts give a little bit of cover, but then we can shoot at the fence posts. Uh, they keep going behind this wall and it's causing problems. Hmm. Let's uh, rejig our defenses for the next hit. Well, that's bad. This says N4 infected. Enemies coming. There's going to be five of them. Yeah, that's that's the Void faction. I didn't think... Oh, I was hoping the Void faction wouldn't get pulled in by this. That... Uh, no, we can't... We would have to run. There's literally no way to survive that. Uh, hold on while I save it and I can just show you what I mean. So, if we just hit summon early, uh, we'll get to see what the raid looks like. And here you go. We've got three creepy girls with tendril arms and two roid hooks. Basically all close combat. Wait, you can tame these? Tame a wild animal, tame a wild animal. Yeah, I do, I, yeah no, you can't. You can't tame those. You need to get some uh, N4 injector things that allows you to, like, jab them with a... Never mind. You know what? Let's uh, let's get the team and let's watch them die horrifically to this. Uh, even the new guy. New guy? Yeah, we'll get the new guy as well. In. We, will, uh, we will enjoy their perfect destruction. We're going to cram the door open. Actually, dog's already in position. And open that door there. And then we're going to chuck everyone back here. Go on. Oh, and Chris, you can go there. Uh, actually, yeah, go here. One second. Let, let, just wait until you see these things. They will just shred everything. They're meant to be overpowered. If we wanted to, we could have went over here and grabbed a bunch of guns from these guys that would give us a fighting chance, but that's the way we decided not to go, remember. Ooh, it'll be fun watching them tear that turret to shreds. I, I, I'm not betting that that turret's going to last very long. Actually, let's, yeah, let's get out of here and get a few shots off. Then we'll go hide behind the dog. Dog is going to last about one hit. Uh, can anyone hit them? The fact that this is in the rain is also probably helping them. So they have been hit by a lot of gunshots. Still going. Okay. Uh, everyone back inside. Yep. Dog's going to have to face tank for a bit. Then we'll... Try to have people run in? Actually, who's going to be the first sacrificial lamb in the door? Bjorn, you've got plate mail. Tyler, you... Oh, Tyler actually has a good gun. We'd prefer to keep him in the rear. You know what? New guy. New guy can go up front. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the explosion of the turret managed to kill one of them? Look at the amount of hits it took to kill that thing. That thing's not even wearing body armor. That's just health pool. The health pool on these things is just enormous. Uh, let's see who comes up front. Okay, so you are our front range contender. 
Dog is going to be dead in about a half a second. Uh. Wow. Is the dog still standing? No. Uh, everyone, would you please target the giant monster, the Roid Hulk injured? Yeah. One hit from that thing, torso bruised from the Roid Fist. Oof. This is more of a demonstration of just how boned we would be fighting these guys. There's just no way. Even with... You can't kite these guys. They can move at 4.95. There's just no way. Oh, you could probably go here. Uh, why can't you rescue... No, go here. Oh, dog's there. Uh, wow, that thing just will not go down. Seriously, how are you not dead? Yeah, this is why we included the Lloyd faction. All right, let's speed along. This thing's nose has more hit points than a pawn. Ah, oh, great. Uh, yeah, you go here. I'm not even sure how we killed the first one. Oh my god! I'm kind of surprised we, we survived that. We should have been dead. Uh, oh yeah, but it was fun. Uh, wargs drop. Cargo pods with ten tamed wargs. What? Cargo pod with three random weapons. Maximum quality is poor. Cargo pod with 30 medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was that was more just to demonstrate how bold we would be trying to like fight off those waves. There's no way we can. Ooh. What do you give us for weaponry? Thro steel throwing knives? I didn't even know they were a thing. Smoke launcher. Yeah, semi-automatic rifle. Ooh, that's a new one. No, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta reload the save. The whole point of that, showing how just overpowered that wave is, like, knowing that that's coming, there's no way you can survive it. Well, okay, theoretically we survived, but we had one person, I think, or two people still standing, one of whom was not injured. You're better off just running. If I knew that wave was coming, i just like, no, we're just gonna move to another tile. You, you can come in, you can trash everything, and if they don't leave, we're not coming back, because... You're just better off keeping your pawns alive than risking that much damage. I think the only reason we really killed the first Roid Hulk thing was it was once we weakened it enough, its damage output went through the floor. Probably because we shot it in its 200 hit point eyeball enough that it didn't actually die, or it was just so hard for it to hit anything, it was actively blocking the other ones from getting through. That might be an idea. You could get one up to the front, injure it so badly it's doing bugger all damage, and then kill the ones behind it before killing it. It'd be tricky, but uh, no, 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 no. I think the plan should be as follows. We should leave it on Winston Waves for a while. Then, after we've done Winston Waves for a bit, we go down to Gameplay, Modify, and then we switch to this guy. This guy's Bacillus the Bestower. It's, basically, he's the Psychic Powers guy. Your enemies will have Psychic Powers, but he will bestow Psychic Powers upon you for doing stuff that he likes. And that would be the plan. Anytime any of these waves show up, we switch to Bacillus. Then we switch to Bacillus for, I don't know, a season or something like that. Try and get some Psy powers on our guys. Then we switch back to Winston, see what kind of fun he's got in store for us. Do that until we get another one of these uh, Void Faction ones comes in. Then we switch back to Bacillus for a season, that type of thing. Just to sort of spice it up. That way we'll be dealing with waves. Then we'll be dealing with leveling up. Then we'll be dealing with waves. And then it'll kind of back and forth. I like the idea of just spicing it back and forward a bit. The big question is, how do we deal with this raid? Should I just magic it away so that we don't have to deal with it, or should we just run away from the tile? I don't see fighting that as a viable option, or, uh, wait a minute, let me say, rephrase that. I don't see fighting this wave as a cost-efficient option. It would be far better to just leave the tile and start on another one. That way you'd be able to keep most of your people, your gear, and you'd even be able to keep the prisoners. If you lose two people in this fight, it's just not worth it, especially when we're at this level. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Next up, we'll be doing a, a season of Bacillus the Bestower. I hope you uh, enjoyed our time with Winston Waves, and uh, good luck.
Thank you.